Good morning students. Welcome in computer class of 7th standard. Today we will start a new chapter, chapter number 7, database and DBMS and introduction. So everyone open your books, page number 80. So in this chapter we will learn introduction to database, types and structure of database. What is Microsoft Access? Features of Microsoft Access? Components of Access 2016? Starting Access 2016? Creating a blank database? Creating a database using templates? View of a table? Rules for naming a field? Data types? Setting data types for a field? Primary field key? Saving a database, closing database and access application and opening an existing database. So students, today we will learn introduction to database, types of database and structure of database. So now start with the database. What is a database? Database is an organized collection of data organized means arranged in proper way like in alphabetically order or increasing or decreasing order etc organized collection of data that helps us to enter manage assess analyze a large amount of data information i will tell you with the help of an example we all use database in our daily lives we maintain our personal address diaries wherein we record addresses and telephone numbers of our friends. We maintain the information alphabetically so that whenever any information is needed, we could browse and extract the information quickly. From time to time, we keep on adding new addresses and also update the contact numbers and postal addresses of our friends if there is a any change all these operations that we perform like adding updating sorting deleting editing etc are the functions of a database some examples of database are a dictionary list of groceries in a grocery store list of customers in a bank employees information in offices and organizations etc so students it is very difficult to maintain a database manually there are hundreds and thousands of records as the chances of committing error increase a software that is called DBMS. The full form of DBMS is Database Management System is a computerized record keeping system that enables you to create, store, modify and extract information from a database. It saves our time and energy. The main function of DBMS is to provide the user with efficient and reliable methods of data retrieval. Now, types of database. There are mainly two types of database. Number one is flat file database. Number two is relational database. Now, we will start with a flat file database. A flat file database refers to the data files that contain records which have a small fixed number of fields like you can see in this picture here we have a one table and this table have a small and fixed number of fields means fixed data so it is a flat file database Example of flat file database is Microsoft Excel. X database is 
relational database a relational database stores the data in several tables like you can see in this picture the data stored in two tables and after that linked those tables together and you will get a common piece of information that is the third table so in relational database creates a relation between two or more tables some examples of relational database are microsoft sql server oracle and microsoft ss next is structure of database a database contains a specific structure to store data let us study some basic terminologies used in database number 1 is tables tables are the building blocks of a database they store the complete data in a structured manner that means in the form of rows and columns and every table has a finite number of rows and columns now we will discuss some elements of a table number first element is fields all the columns in a table are called fields like you can see in this picture these are the columns so these columns are called fields a field describes a particular attribute of all the records in a table for example here i have a one table and here is a one field of roll number it means the field will store the roll numbers of all the students next is records the rows in a table are called records these are the rows so these rows are called records a record contains the value for all the fields that belong to a single person or an entity for example you can see in this table this row this row shows the full information of alok pandey like roll number of alok is 1 course and ca city of city is varanasi so this is a full record of one person next element is data a set of characters that represents a valid value is known as a data for example this five number is a data any 5 4 3 10 this is a data any name like amar singh this is a data so these all examples are the data values for the specific field next is queries in simple language what is query when you want to take some information from anyone firstly you have to ask the question that question is called query so in database queries help us to retrieve the filtered data from the database based upon some condition a database stores vast amount of information and if you want to take some information from the database so then we will use queries queries are also used to perform actions such as delete update etc on the data and based upon some criteria means some conditions next is forms forms are the user friendly interfaces 
that facilitate the process of entering data in tables and queries. Form has an interactive interface that accepts the data from the user and forwards it to the corresponding table. For example, when you will create an email address, so firstly you have to fill the form and that is the example of form. Next is reports. Reports are used to display the selected data in printable format. Reports collect the summarized data from one or more table and organized it in printable form. Let's take an example of X-ray. After completing the X-ray, you get a report and that report is in a printed form. That is the example of report. Now on page number 81, I am going to discuss let's know more with you. So everyone open page number 81. First is distributed database. A database that consists of two or more data files located at different sites on a computer network is called a distributed database as you can see in this picture our data files are placed at the different locations so this is a distributed database next is DB2 DB2 is a database product from IBM it is a relational database management system that is also called RDBMS DB2 is designed to store, analyze and retrieve the data efficiently. Next is database scheme. The overall design structure of the database is called database scheme which describes the records and relationship among them. So students this is all about of today's class here you have learned introduction to database types of database and structure of database so students read this chapter carefully